What's up guys? Classy Metal here. Uh, it's that time of the month. I'm sure you guys can read. So you saw the uh, title to the video. It is time to dissect the March Metalhead box. I'm sure you guys have already seen the spoilers. Uh, if you followed my channel any amount of time, you know that I'm always behind, especially with these Metalhead box videos. If you haven't followed my channel, What's your problem? Hit that subscribe button and, and join in and uh, stay behind with me and everyone else. Uh, mine's a little bit different than some of the uh, spoilers that I've seen. I do the all format uh, metalhead box. I've kind of hit my sweet spot with this particular version of it. I like adding some variety into the collection. You guys that do follow me know that I am a CD person through and through and the fact that uh, the Metalhead Box has been doing these Metalhead Box exclusive CDs is a huge selling point. Uh, it's the only place to get the majority of these and, and it, it's super awesome to have something exclusive and just being the collector scum that I am, uh, it, it's nice to put some of this stuff in the collection. It's nice to get some tapes and some vinyl to uh, put a little variety in the collection. I have all of that. Uh, players for all of that in my stereo setup so sometimes I am a very moody person and the format that I want to listen to just varies on my mood and it's nice to have to as I was saying have a little bit of variety I do the all format version and I also do the all genre uh, metal genre I like to be surprised every month you can kind of pick um, a genre that they'll try to cater to usually like as far as your music that you get they try to cater as much as they can but they don't have just genre specific boxes but you can put your favorite genres and they will try to cater as much as they possibly can to those genres I do the all all metal all format I just like surprise me uh, and send me whatever the uh, the little extras that we got in the box this month ha were very thrash heavy uh, the first thing is these uh, tribute pins that we've been getting. This one is a forbidden uh, tribute pin. I will try to get my camera. It wants to focus and then it goes back out. Uh, this is a, um, a play on the Forbidden Evil album. Came out all the way back in uh, 1988. So we're closing in on 40 years old. Uh, killer album. We got a patch. Uh, a very similar patch to this. Uh, it's probably been well over a year now, but I do remember at one point getting a patch with that, uh, with a play on that album cover art on that as well. And a very classic thrash stuff going on with the extras this month. We've got a uh, Demolition Hammer with a Tortured Existence patch. The quality and the detail on that patch is absolutely amazing. Uh, this album came out, I think, around 1990, and this is when Demolition Hammer was straight up thrash before they went over the top groovy. In, in my humble opinion, this uh, this is the peak era of uh, Demolition Hammer. So if you're going to have a patch of any of their albums, that debut album there is the one to have it. So killer looking patch. I'll show that one more time so you can just get a better look at all the detail that they uh, put into that. The shirt this month, uh, we got some filthy, filthy death metal uh, out of Fargo, North Dakota. North Dakota, man, they've been, uh, Fargo's been killing it in, in the uh, death metal scene. That That's not the place that I would think death metal, like killer death metal, would be coming from, but they've been absolutely on fire. Uh, we've got some mall, and if, you, uh, if you've seen the cover art for the... Uh, Serific Punishment album that came out last year. This color scheme and stuff kind of works with that. It's just that it, it, it's kind of stripped down and uh, minimalistic as far as the artwork goes on the shirt, but it, it just works, especially with this grimy and murky as the sound that, that Maul puts out. Uh, it, it just works for me. I really like this shirt, and I, I don't, I can't put my finger on it exactly what it is about this shirt. That I, that I absolutely love, but it just works. I'm very, I've am very, i been very slow uh, getting into that band. Uh, when a band has been hyped up that much, sometimes I'm a little late uh, getting on board. I, I have this little, um, little bubble of obscurity stuff that I like to listen to. And when something is getting hyped and, and, and played and shown everywhere, for some reason, I kind of shy away with it, like shy away from it. I did the same thing with 200 Stab Wounds, and now I absolutely love that band. And uh, I'm slowly, slowly getting into Maul 
and I've heard everything that I love. That full length is awesome, and they have a plethora of EPs and split materials that came out before that that I'm so far behind. At some point, I will have to start getting my hands on those physical formats and physical copies of those. Uh, next up, one of the biggest selling points that I feel like the Metalhead box has going for them right now are these exclusive CD releases that they're doing. You guys know that I am a CD junkie through and through, and the fact that they're doing these exclusive CDs, and a lot of times this is the only place to get it, is, is just huge. Uh, I, I've loved the, uh, the bands and stuff that's been featured on this so far, and it's pretty awesome to have these, uh, adding these exclusive CDs into the collection. Uh, this month, we got one from the, uh, at the time, uh, Chicago-based death slash thrash metal band Master. Uh, this contains the 1985 demo on a CD format. This may be the first time that that was ever released on a CD. And then you have the seventh day demo uh, kind of lumped together on, a, I guess it kind of becomes a compilation at that point. But uh, killer stuff, very campy sounding. Uh, I mean, it, it shows its age as far as the, the production value, but it just works for it. Uh, the music, like the, the production, it has that old school feel, and, and I really like the sound of this. I like it much more than I expected to. Um, I was kind of iffy when, when I saw the spoilers and, and stuff as, as how, how the actual sound on this was going to go. But uh, one thing I did learn from this is that the 1985 demo was actually recorded at Sea Grape Studios, and maybe that's a reason why the uh, production, especially on that 85 demo, is uh, so solid. Also, on the seventh day demo, um, it has uh, the track, the first track off of that demo listed as Constant Quarrel. Uh, from what I remember on that demo, um, it was a track called like Free Will or something and I, I don't remember enough to say maybe that song became Constant Quarrel uh, at between demo and album. I, I'm really not sure so that's something maybe someone out there that has a little bit more knowledge than me and uh, remembers a little bit more. I, I guess I should have done my homework a little bit better for that particular part but that's pretty cool to have this into the collection now and uh, have this at my disposal to listen to whenever I want. Uh, the tape that I got in this box is a split tape. Uh, it hasn't been out very long. I think it just came out. Uh, this is a split between Wolf Skull and Hexella, entitled Burn With Us. Uh, these are both Texas-based uh, bands. This was released on, um, I think, Iron Commando. No, Goat Throne. Goat Throne Records. I, am, I was way off. Uh, Wolf Skull. They are kind of uh, black and thrash. Uh, a lot of you, if you're watching this and you're familiar with Metalhead Box, you guys probably know the band Wraith. Um, Sound-wise, that's a band that is something similar. So if you're looking and that's a band that you like, I think you guys would like Wolf Skull. They have a bit more of a sleazy vibe going on. Uh, my, many of you may not know that, but my New Year's resolution was to be more sleazy. So Wolf Skull fits right into uh, what I'm enjoying lately as far as sleazy music goes. And then you have uh, Hexella. Hexella has this, uh, they, they're labeled as black and roll. They definitely get heavy into the black metal. Uh, that the, the at times it feels like this grindy black metal and they're able to transition from that over into this black and roll sound pretty seamlessly and it really works. I did enjoy both sides of this uh, of this split. It comes on a green well in a green case and the shell is uh, purple. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera as far as the, the purple goes but it looks pretty awesome. I, I did like both sides of this. Uh, one thing that was interesting too is uh, both bands did cover tracks uh, the Wolf Skull side has them doing a cover of Slayer's uh, Evil Has No Boundaries. So that one's pretty good. But the uh, the Hexella side, they do a cover of Bathory's You Don't Move Me, I Don't Give a Fuck. And uh, I believe the band Decayed also at one point did a cover of that, that track. And that's the only two bands. That's an interesting track of Bathory's to cover, but they do a pretty good job on it on this. So it was uh, they have their own little spin that they put to it, and I did enjoy that quite a bit. And then the last piece uh, of this box was the vinyl. 
Uh, this is Thor's Hammer, and I'm going to butcher the uh, the title of this EP. It's entitled uh, Dama Dog Snot. Yeah, it's a awesome, awesome classic piece of doom death metal out of Seattle, Washington. I'm sure most of you guys have already heard this. Uh, it was originally, I think, recorded in 1995 and released in 1998. Uh, Southern Lord Records gave it the reissue treatment this year. Uh, this has not been out very long at all. This is just on black vinyl. Uh, it came with a sticker. I'll show you guys the sticker. That I, I don't know if I want to use this. I'm putting. I'm. Filling up a desk, a new desk, at the top part with stickers, and I don't know if I want to use this or just keep the whole vinyl set here intact. I don't. I'll just have to make up my mind. But uh, this is some heavy. As I said, it was doom death metal. Um, very heavy stuff. I think it works being on black wax. Something this heavy and and, and dark. It feels like it just deserves to be on black vinyl. They have other variants of this available, but this is on the limited black. Comes in this little sleeve with the some more artwork. It has the lyric sheet back here, but the majority of these lyrics are not in English, so I still have no idea what in the hell she is singing about. But I will say the vocals on this EP, I say EP, it comes in a little over uh, 30, 30 minutes, but there is a, uh, a rehearsal tape track on here, so I guess it technically can still just be an EP. But as I was saying, the vocals on this are absolutely phenomenal. She's able to transition between clean vocals and, and the uh, and the deep guttural sounding vocals seamlessly. The the cleans are absolutely beautiful. It kind of it's not folky at all, but it ha gives you that feel of like this black and folky stuff that I like. It, it just works. It, I guess it leans more to that doomy portion of that or almost atmospheric at times. But the way that the vocals are able to transition back and forth, it absolutely just works. And uh, I, I've been speaking on production values and stuff, but the production on this works very strong in its favor as well, especially something that was recorded in the uh, mid 90s. You wouldn't expect it to sound as good as it does now. I'm sure it's probably been remastered or something for these reissues later, but it, it sounds really amazing on this uh, on this record. So, uh, as always, um, I will link up all of the music down in the description. I will try to find band camps, any kind of link like that, so you can uh, check something out if something kind of piques your interest. I will link up the Metalhead box. I cannot scream the praises of this all format box enough. I feel like I just feel like I've hit hit my sweet spot with this. Um, I like adding the variety of the different formats into the collection. I am a very moody person, so uh, sometimes just the the format that I want to listen to is completely uh, based on my mood. I get the exclusive CD uh, CDs in this in this uh, form in this version of the box as well because you guys know that uh, through and through I'm always going to be a CD person so having those uh, that that pretty much for me uh, pays for the box in itself so metalhead box is linked up the music's linked up you better be subscribed if you're not subscribed or or else uh, we're going to have some problems all that good stuff I, I am going to try to get back on the ball with the collection updates I, I am so slow and behind and I know I always say that and that's always the case but um, also if you're not following my Instagram, I know I, I shout out my Instagram all the time. You need to go do that. I've started doing monthly giveaways. I've ga gave away two CDs so far. I just finished up the last giveaway, and I will be posting a new one very, very soon. And it's a limited CD that I'll be giving to you guys that follow me on there at that moment, too. So, so definitely go do that. I'm going to stop now. Go check out Metalhead Box. Go check out this uh, the music that I post. All that good stuff. Stay classy, stay metal, and I will see you guys very soon. I promise.